Luke, Tom, and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, and today we're in the Highlands of Scotland, and we're about to do a survival camping trip. We're going to build shelters, we're going to try to catch our own dinner, we're going to forage food. This is going to be awesome. You guys ready? Yeah! yeah. See, this is, this is a, a special net that protects your head from the bugs. You can see these no see are everywhere, the uh, gnats or whatever, and so the boys have got themselves hoods, and I might bust one out here too in a little bit, but so far I'm doing okay. N Nathan, what is that? My throwing rock. You see when I look and it starts a fire. This class we're doing is through wildwoodbushcraft.com, and Leon here is gonna be our, our teacher. His, this man has bitten off more than he can chew. He is gonna see if he can survive a four-year-old and a six-year-old. That's all the poo. There's all these big black slugs here. I thought they were deer poop, honestly. I found, oh, I, look at you! Got a you I, got a whole fistful of slugs. Yeah, but look at really this little slug. Just keep an eye out in the water for a sea otter. Also, you might, as I say, we saw this big shoal of uh, fish coming in today. Come on, guys, keep going. Man, it's just absolutely gorgeous scenery. Look at this. This is so, such a cool forest. Tree, sometimes water runs down, the tree comes in. Yeah, yeah you know that? Um, yeah, you can see it's already dry. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we know that the rain doesn't get down here very much because it's already dry, even though it's been raining all day. So we wouldn't have to build as much if we built a shelter here. Could you guys fit under there, you think? You fit, you totally fit under there. What is this, this little clover? Yeah, it looks like clover, but it isn't clover. It's, um, it's actually called wood sorrel, so it's quite sour. So you got that near your bed, so that's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Leon gave me some great ideas. He said, first things first, lay down in it and kind of figure out where you're going to sleep and then try to level it out. Little layer of stuff here. That's pretty dry. I want to keep that dry. So Leon's suggestion to lay in my shelter was really good because it turned out right where I want to sleep. It's a big pointy rock. So I'm going to see if I can dig a little bit and get that rock out. <laughs> Ah, there we go. That'll make life better. Oh. There we go. Okay. It's been raining like crazy. So in a futile effort to make it slightly drier, I'm trying to beat it off a little bit of the droplets, but we'll see, we'll see if that does any good whatsoever. I'm gonna jam up these holes with some logs and bracken. Use all the small sticks to fill up the holes like this. Dad, I'm going to... Dad, who got that one? Yeah. I did that one. But we'll be okay. What, you're having a... Sleeping bag? Um, I wasn't going to. Well, but, uh, I would love a sleeping bag. But these boys will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be, yeah, hopefully it'll be a cool night and then you won't have any problems with misses. I got this, these holes shoved up pretty tight. I think I'm ready to lay down my bedding. Then we're gonna get a roof on this thing. <sighs> Gotta try to stick the stem side deep in there. So I'm more on the leaves and less on the stem. So about how many times a week do you do these classes? Is it pretty regular? Uh, most days of the week at the moment. Well, we're not yeah. thinking the tree would be the big yeah. spoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there might be some deer have. What do you tell you? Monkey on the top. 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 Hey, I'm gonna jump in this pile of brush here and see what it looks like inside. Oh, that is dark. Well, there we go. We use a lot of ferns, but man, that looks pretty tight in there. It is pitch black inside and it's really warm. I get in there, my big old fat body is like a space heater in there. D despite the outside appearance, there's not a lot of space on the inside. It's packed pretty thick with insulation, so that should keep the rain off. Knock on wood, we'll have a pretty good good night's rest in that. So we got this other shelter here made up for the boys and you can see it's got a little bit more space in there 
and uh, not bad at all. You can see what it looks like inside. You know, pretty nice. Plenty of room for two boys. So right, there you go, there's your sleeping bag. Got it in there. All right, we got the shelters built. Now we're gonna go and try to get a fire going, cook a little food before we put the boys to bed. All right, Tommy, you got some good, you got some good kindling there? Yeah, it, it is fat wood. <laughs> Tommy has been talking yeah. nonstop about fat wood that he saw on the old YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. do a little bit of work with my knife to make some really fine little, little, little pieces on here called a feather stick. The yeah. wood is quite fine, so it's like, I, I, smell I, that, smell that. Oh yeah. You probably smelled it before. Mmm, piney. Who do you get your knife from? So I made this knife. Yeah? yeah. So we've got some bits here that they're kind of ready to go. So I can pick these up when I'm ready. So what I do when I'm lighting, I rest my hand on this. I put a lot of pressure and then I shoot the sparks down on top of it. Yeah, so, then yeah. you don't end up smashing your, yeah, your kindling. Exactly. I'm sure you I bet you're going to get it first try. I'm going to get, I'm going to get, oh! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Did yeah. you? So you can put your piece in there now. Yeah, put put your piece in. Put it into the flame. And then yeah, just go. gently let drop it. Drop. It. There you go. So that's fat wood. Yeah, look how that burns. Yeah, that burns so well. Um, I'm just gonna look for some other bits. Too. Three seconds. No. All right. You want to you want to shove your apple in that? Yeah. Just rest it on that. See that? You know what you can dip in the hot chocolate? What? Digestives. Yeah, you're, 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 I got a sneaky feeling it's gonna be awesome. The apple's not hot anymore. Well, good. Then he... No, don't put any cold. It's like, oh, this is so good. Try, try a little bit of steak. That too hot? <laughs> yeah. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Cooked steak, roasted apples, and digestives. That's a that's a pretty decent camping meal i'm i'm uh, i'm pretty happy with that but uh it's way past the boys bedtime so we're gonna tuck them into their forts here in a little bit and uh then i'll see you guys in the morning Shockies. soggy socks hey those are the soggiest socks ever all right guys you snuggled in good yeah. are you warm yeah. are you dry yeah. good well, the boys fell asleep immediately and now it's time for me to get to bed. I'm going to crawl in here and I'm going to bring the light and show you a little bit what it looks like inside. And I'm getting to bed. All right, let's get inside here. All right. All right. All right, welcome to Home Sweet Home. Let me show you the, uh, the master bedroom. Yep, that's it. I am really, really warm right now. I'm uh, the ground's a little cold, and if there's one thing that I could improve, it's I really need more of a layer underneath me. We're just going to kind of suck it up, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, and I'll let you know how it was. Well, good morning. It's 6 a.m., and uh didn't sleep half bad. Ground's a little hard, but it's uh, warm in here. Unfortunately, I didn't quite make the shelter long enough. My feet are sticking out the door a little bit when I stretch out like this. And uh, it's pretty cold outside, and my, my toes are cold. <laughs> and every once in a while, I get a little bit of a cold breeze come in through the door. So if I had to do it over again, I think I would uh, make a plug for the door and make it a little bit longer. A little more padding wouldn't go amiss either. Oh. Well, that's not so bad. Oh, oh this sure is a pretty spot. Isn't this amazing? This is what I'm waking up to. The most amazing part about camping here in Scotland is the laws. Anything that's open land, you can camp on it, hike on it, build a fire on it. Doesn't matter whether it's private or not. Just clean up after yourself, use some common sense and it's all fair game. If you're a backcountry enthusiast, this place is amazing. Look at that, there's a fish blitz going on right down there. And see just fish just erupting out of the water up there. <laughs> I think we're gonna do some fishing today and that's, that's got my blood pumping. So I'm gonna see if I can get some wood together and uh, get a little fire going so the boys will have something warm to sit by when they get up. See if I can get some dry wood shavings.
Got a little fire started. Now we're gonna try to make some breakfast here. I heard something about seaweed and flatbread, so this is gonna be interesting. The fire was actually made by me. Yeah, I used the flint and steel and a little co cobble to get some practice, but I got the cobble on fire. Cool stuff, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah, I Guys, you wanna eat a limpet? This little thing is a limpet. We're gonna we're gonna catch and eat one. So we have to surprise them. You have to like come up quietly and then just give them a kick and they'll come off the rock. So nearly all the brown seaweeds are racks of some kind. And this is sometimes known as gut weed. Uh -huh. It's supposed to resemble intestines when it's like in the water. We call it seagrass as well. Yes, yeah, so that's a edible periwinkle. A periwinkle. Ed edible periwinkle. Yeah, or winkle. Yeah, you could eat it raw, although it's better. It's more safe to cook it. Is that a big limpet or is that just a shell? You can see we just bunk them over the rock. Yeah. Oh. I got oh. Okay. <laughs> we'll eat that one raw. Okay, first thing you have to take the gut off. There we go, a little bit of raw libet. Uh, crunchier than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Got teeth kind of sink into it. And it An kind of irony tip. Right, yeah, like a blood. A little bit like a nosebleed. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> some people really like them raw, some people are not keen. It wasn't my favorite raw yeah. thing I put in my mouth, yeah. but it wasn't bad. Yeah, definitely a little bit of nosebleed in there. <laughs> Pick some of the seaweed. I really want to eat a ton some. of seaweed. Two, two handfuls yeah. each, that'll do it. Come on, I'm going to use yeah. seagrass. Seaweed. Yeah, put it in there. Seagrass. Mix it all up really well. Like make mixing cement. I'm doing not, the not old fashioned way. way. You're doing it the old fashioned way? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. to mix. <laughs> might be plain flour, it doesn't really matter. That looks yummy. Yeah. Ready to dump it in? Put, put it in there, buddy. Okay, put it in there. Ooh. None of these things are exact, so. Yeah. I like that. A little bit more, yeah, about half it. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah, that should be good. Just try a bit off the pancake. Right there, I think. Yeah, that should be good. All right. No, it's not bad. Yeah. Um, that's the kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Take away my dad. Flying from the battle for that we I throw a little salt and pepper in it, but that's good. There's our little seaweed cake. I would put it limpets, bannock. That's that's my uh, ranking right now for things I've put in my mouth this morning. All right, just finished up breakfast, so now we're gonna do some fishing, which I'm super excited about. And uh, Leon's got some kind of survival fishing gear, and I'm cheating a little bit, and grabbed my Daiwa surf rod real quick. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go around the coast here and see if we can't catch any fish. Yeah, look, there are fish in there. But we're like, whoo. Look at this, they're right, look at here. I caught them. I, look at that. I caught a fish. Oh. Now eat a sardine, eat a sardine. Mmm. We're gonna try some fish in here. We saw some bait. Oh, look right there. Just popping right there all over the place. So you can see all these little bait fish dead in the, the seaweed here. So what happened is that high tide, they jumped out of the water to get away from the, the, the pollock or whatever's eating them. Got this little pot here. Got a little spinner on it. This is like uh, what we do with the water bottles. We're gonna see if we can catch a pollock or something with this. Survival surf fishing. Oh. Moved along to where the pole is out there. Right. What pollock. did he catch? Oh, pollock. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Little pollock, man. There, little little fish and chip right there. What did you catch, Tom? I caught, I caught this. Oh, he, why don't you check him in the water since he's still alive? Maybe he'll attract more pollock. Good job. Oh yeah, you just swam off. All right, Nate, you want to catch a fish? Yeah, I want to catch it. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a pollock. It's a pollock. It's a pollock. I Put him in there. Keep him fresh. 
There you go. Oh, is he him? You got him. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> Another Pollock. This <laughs> Look at this, Tom. That was so much fun. But the rain's getting serious on us, so we're gonna head back to camp to get a little dry. Yeah, I'm it in the noodles. Yeah, let's see what this guy's been eating. Lots, lots of little fish. There we go. Buddy, you love munching that wood sorrel? Mm -hmm. See, Nathan, look. That's how we gotta get some clean water. We're gonna drink tent pee. Oh, chocolate caramel digestive in hot chocolate, man. That's match made in heaven. Time to cook up our haggis here. Because uh, we are in Scotland, and so you got to have campfire haggis. Nathan, you want to try some some haggis? No. You know this is made with like sheep lungs and sheep hearts and sheep stomachs. Ah! It actually smells quite nice. It, it smells, smells like a sausage. Like sausage yeah. Yeah, mine smells mad All right, this fish is looking pretty done. The eyes turned all white and cloudy, and he's got little grease coming out of his nose. Right, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's perfect. Try that. Do I try that? Yeah, but like a bit of cod. Nice. Hey, keep on going. Do you want to try some haggis? Here, try that. I would call it like meaty sausage granola. It's kind of like this crunchy texture. It reminds me of warm granola. Smells like sausage and kind of tastes like sausage. That's the the offer, isn't it? It's like you know, in high-end restaurants and things would serve it. And... With this close your eyes. What do you got there? What are you eating? Haggis. That's haggis. Yo, yeah, you're eating more haggis. Yeah. You are turning into a Scotsman. We finished our haggis and pollock lunch, and we're gonna go explore a little cove down the way, and we're gonna cut through the woods and do a little foraging and along the way, and just uh, just do a little exploring. I don't want to, I don't want to. So it's a uh, Oh. Yeah, chanterelle, it's a nice mushroom. It's a good edible mushroom. And it's got sometimes a bit of a smell of fruit, smell of apricots. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. kinda. It's, I mean, yeah, it's a, yeah. not your typical mushroom smell, yeah. No, no, that definitely no. doesn't smell like yeah, a button yeah. mushroom. See, do I see him? Yeah. A little frog in there. It's a wee yeah, Scottish really, frog. It's just like oh, the wet conditions. Yeah, oh, just. Wood sorrel is here. Yeah, wood sorrel. That's clover. Oh, okay. So clover and wood sorrel. Clo That's I got clover. you. Clover, yeah. Wood sorrel with a heart shaped leaf. Yeah, heart shape, see? And this is kind of fairly round. Now, this is mountain ash. Is this. A it's got to be cooked to make a jelly. So, rowan jelly, they call it. Oh, okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. So, if you can eat it, you can try it if you want. It's, it's a, a sa sour, sour sort of tasting. It's called common sorrel. Common sorrel. Yeah. So it, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm getting that. I'm getting yeah, that uh, rhubarb, rhubarb taste. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's it's in the what's called the brittle cap family. So uh -huh. they're like brittle, and they they kind of they often you can often see little like teeth sticking out of here. But some of the ones with the red tops like this are, are what are called sickeners, so they make you feel sick. The ones that are sickeners all have a kind of hot, fiery taste. They're called skull cap. Skull cap. Skull cap. And the reason it's called skull cap is because it's a kind of sleep-inducing plant. Oh. You have a little tea with it, and it makes you sleepy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There's always water in Nathan's boots. Look at all those limpets. You knocked oh, off a limpet? I will not off a limpet. I want to eat this guy. You want to eat this guy? Oh, here we go. Ah, come here, Nate. I'm definitely going to eat that. Mom's going to see this video and be like, you guys are eating haggis and raw limpets and you won't eat what I make for you. This is, this, you're gonna have some explaining to do. You ready to eat your limpet? Yeah. Eat him. 
Like that? Good. You got on the title pool? Tommy, Tommy, I ate the whip it. I ate the whip it, Tommy. Oh, the Come on over here. You see any shrimps, guys? See a quack wall. Oh, make sure you put them all back, buddy. We're not going to eat those. Look at this view. Isn't this awesome? This coast is just beautiful. I'm watching my stuff. Yeah. Bog myrtle or gale. Daddy, daddy. Yeah. Very pleasant aroma to it. I need a roll. Ninja roll? Well, guys, we taught you how to survive on your own. See you later. Ooh. Try to step on the rocks and logs. Red deer right there. That was so cool. Yeah. We had a good week. Well, guys, we have had an absolute blast on this camping trip, haven't we, guys? Yeah. Now listen, if you would like to do a trip like this, contact Leon Durbin with wildwoodbushcraft.com. I'll put a link in the description. Also, if you guys want to see more video from our three week trip to the UK, check out those videos and I'll put a link in the description to that as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you guys had a great time. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to click subscribe to the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.